Good morning children in last class we have learned about variety of food now i am going to teach you the next part of the lesson sources of food there are two types of food sources one is plant source and another one is animal source food items are prepared from these two sources what are the plant source food items plant source food items are rice chapati sambar dosa idli etc these food items are prepared from plant sources next we have animal source of food items animal source food items are paneer chicken fish curry etc are prepared from animal source the food habits differ from person to person the food habits are not same with all the people the taste of different people changes similarly the food habits of people differ from one place to another place we eat according to the taste and food habits and the crops that grow in that place or region for example the people eat more of jowar where jowar is grown in plenty and people who live on the sea shore they get more fish so they eat more of fish so children food habits of people changes from person to person and from place to place animals also need food to live grow and be healthy let us see food of animals animals are divided into three groups on the basis of their food habits they are herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous the animal that eat grass leaves and plants they are known as herbivorous animals they eat the food got from plants only next you can see the picture of tiger and lion what they eat they kill other animals and they eat their flesh they eat the flesh of other animals they are known as carnivorous animals next we have animals like dog and human beings which eat both that food got from plants as well as they eat flesh of other animals they are known as omnivorous animals i hope children you understood this lesson now take your evs textbook open page number 65 there is an activity here are some pictures of a few animals there are three bags in the middle divide these animals on the basis of their food habits then draw a line to the bag related to the animals complete it and be ready for the next class thank you